everybody, it's Shame Busting Coach Jen Bovey here. I want to talk to you guys today about compliments. Um, so historically in my life, I've been a big fan of compliments. Compliments are great. Compliments are amazing. Compliments make you feel wonderful, right? And so a few years ago, probably five years ago or so, my husband and I had this discussion. We'll call it a bite. And in this discussion, I said to him, I said, you don't ever give me compliments. You don't ever tell me I look nice. You don't ever tell me I look pretty. You don't ever tell me I look hot or I look sexy. You don't tell me any of these things. You don't tell me I am pretty. You don't tell me you like my hair. You don't tell me that I did something good. You don't tell me anything. You give me nothing positive. I said, and it hurts me on a core level to watch you give these random strangers compliments. You tell them that you like their hair. You tell them they have a nice smile. You tell them that they, um, that they have great clothing or whatever. I said, it's just not fair to me and I deserve compliments. And in that moment, he said to me one of the most profound things that he's ever said to me. He said, why would I give you a compliment? And I was like, wait, what? What do you mean? Oh, I was enraged. And he went on to say, why would I give you compliments when every time I try to give you a compliment, you discount it? And when you discount those compliments, you essentially tell me that I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm talking about. I was gutted, absolutely gutted, because in that moment I knew he was right, that I had taught him how to treat me, because that's one of the, my big things is that as adults we teach people how to treat us. I taught him how to treat me, and in that teaching I taught him that I don't value his opinion enough to, to, to believe what he says to me. And so we've worked really hard to overcome that. And I really think that that speaks a lot to shame, and it's about shame. I recently watched this video of this um, wealthy coach, and that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to talk negatively about her, um, but she's paid a lot of money. I think she's, a, I'm pretty sure she's a millionaire. The point is she talked about how uncomfortable she was with accepting praise. To me, that reeked of shame, and I wanted to reach out to her, and I wanted to be like, hey, let me help you through this process because shame is going to block you from everything positive and wonderful in life. And so I really want to create the conversation around compliments. When somebody compliments you, do you say, if somebody says, oh, that's such a great top. Do you say, oh, this old thing? This isn't old, by the way. Um, when somebody says, oh, your hair looks amazing. Are you like, oh, I really need to get it re-dyed? I had this experience when I was on the cruise ship. And I know my hair looked like a hot mess because it's really windy on a cruise ship and I was sitting down um, and this woman was standing behind me and she's like oh, I wish I had my camera here the one time I don't have my camera of course and I was like wait is something going on and she's like your hair is just perfectly highlighted that's exactly what I want my stylist to do and I can never tell her and I can never find a good picture of it she's like but your hair is just amazingly wonderfully highlighted and I was like wow thanks so much and she's like no I'm serious and I'm like thank you I appreciate that I said I really felt like I probably needed to get it done again soon and she's like oh it looks great and in that moment I took a brief moment and I allowed myself to feel that compliment because it's one thing to start to say thank you and it's one thing to start to acknowledge these compliments but it's another to accept it on an internal level and be like you know what I do have good hair now, maybe not today because I didn't do anything with it and I just shared, uh, washed it this morning. But on a whole, I have good hair. So I really want to encourage you guys to start accepting the compliments as they come in. Discounting them is not helping you and it's not helping your relationships with people. And it's really offensive, honestly. And so the words I really want to encourage you to use are things like thank you, I received that, I accept that. I agree. Whatever wording feels right for you, even if you just start with thank you. And pause a moment and feel that on the inside because that's a game changer. When we start to feel those compliments, when people say those things to us, everything begins to change. So um, again, the words are thank you, I receive that, I accept that, I agree, whatever wording you wanna use. And just take 30 seconds, 60 seconds and feel that on the inside of your body. Just feel that and let me know what the results are for you. All right, check out my website, www.jenbovey.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.